This is a one material fly, including a little bit of resin, but you need to check this out. There's a technique that you can do to get some really wild tapers out of just dubbing, and I'm gonna show you how to make a really cool taper on a micro caddis pattern. This is a little micro caddis pattern. Um, just a simple, simple way to tie a caddis. A lot of really small caddis in the rivers. They're bright green. So we're going to show you a, a real fun way to tie them. And it's really just a one material fly. And you can do this with a lot of materials. You just kind of have to get creative and find different ways to apply them to a hook. First things first, this is a Grub Boss hook by Fulling Mill. This is a size 20. And I have it kind of angled down because I'm going to do a lot of work right, right on the back of this hook. So I'm going to leave it just like that for now. Using black thread, we'll just get started. Dress the hook and just bring your thread all the way to the back. So once this is in the back, I will unwind my thread to make it flat. Or if you're a left-handed tire, it does it automatically. Um, and I'm just going to kind of build up a little bit of a bump on the back. These caddis kind of have a, a, a thicker butt. Can I say that on film, Brig? Yeah. Okay, Brig, I'm approved of that, so get mad at him. Yeah. Thick, dude. Thick boy. So you see I just have a little bit of thickness going on here. Can I say that, Brigham? Yeah. Gosh. Look at the no thicky thicks. So. <laughs> no thicky thicks. All the, the thicky thicks and the drinky drips want that butterscotch. All right. That's the that's a funny skit. All right. No no thicky thicks here. We're doing thin to win, Brigham. Gosh, dang it. All right. So I'm going to use some micro dry fly dub in caddis green. Okay. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to build a dubbing noodle but kind of a nasty one on purpose, about like this. You guys can see that. And I'm going to taper the middle of it, maybe a little bit taper or closer to the back, because I want it to match this bump. And I'm just going to add a little bit more dubbing to that. Back here. And I might take a little off the middle of this. I want it to kind of Taper quickly in the back and then kind of, I don't know, go thinner in the front. You can kind of see that. All right. So I'm going to take that and move that up to, to where I'm going to tie that in. And now I'm going to close off a dubbing loop. So what this does, when I twist this up, it's going to create a rope style dubbing loop and it's going to be really corded up and it's going to give the fly some cool segmentation. All right, so grab your dubbing twister of choice. I'm using this guy, CNF one right now. Um, the Sman one is also really good. And let's see if we can get this kind of in focus so you can see what happens when I twist this. So we're, we twisted that down into a, just a microscopic rope. And I'm going to twist it up a little bit more. With 70 denier, you got to be careful because it will break. And now I'm just going to use the rotary feature on this. And I'm going to cover up the thread with this little dubbing technique. So you can see I have a nice fat butt on the back of the fly. And then it tapers down toward the front. Really good segmentation because of how that dubbing lays down. And now this is the part I should have adjusted the hook eye to be up because sometimes your thread can fall off and it unravels everything. So here we go. I'm just going to build up a little bit of a head and whip finish it. Really, the only other thing that I'm going to do is take some of this black solar as and just kind of paint a little bit that little bit on the top of the caddis. Just 
to kind of make a pronounced head that's like a little bit dark on top and then light green underneath. So I'll cure that and probably put one more layer on. Stubbing actually has really cool UV properties as well. And anytime you're using black resin, if you just do a big glob right from the get-go, a lot of times the light can't penetrate underneath that. So anyway, it's just a cool way to make a fly that has a real faint rib, is a little bit, uh, you know, buggy. And it's a one material fly that will definitely catch you fish.